Teacher classmates, good morning. I'm Jairo Suarez and working in team with Claudia Milena Rumeo, we're going to introduce to you an article written by Jail Shunk in the year 2008, which is about metacognition, self-regulation, and self-regulated learning in research recommendations. First of all, we would like to introduce to you a quote from John Garner in the year 1963, who claims that the goal of the educational system is to shift the individual the burden of pursuing his own education. And this is related to our article because its main purpose is to show how cognitive theories changed the way of how education was seen before, including motivation and achievement. Um, also focusing on human functioning, here in this way we have how to explain it. It is not a valuable way of environmental and external issues into the learner, but the intrinsic way to learn. For example, how in code uh, process, store, and retrieve information. It is very important to know that uh, after the 1960s year, many studies were done in order to know that cognitive theories not only view how psychological aspects were uh, identified into education, but also how more some information were, were going to be processed from now on, from that on. It was um, about uh, including sensory registers, short-term memory work, long-term memory, and control processes way. It is uh, due to um, later processes regulated in rehearsing information to be learned, forming mental images, organizing information, and monitoring levels of understanding. Why? This is because um, cognitivists realized that uh, behaviorist was not the only way to learn students how to learn and also that learning naturally was much better than learning by repetition. So, um, according to that, from 1960 to 1980, cognitivists were thinking deeply uh, about how to um, make proposals in order to make people aware of this new kind of learning. So, in 1974, Jan Piaget wrote that uh, teaching occurs in phases with gradual complexity. And uh, also in 1996, Burner said that um, it's very difficult to explain how psychological complex is to know and to explain the cognitive theory. But five different papers and research talk about this topic. The first one we'd like to introduce to you is about Fox and uh, Rickinson in 2008 that they were able to note and to try to bring back different kind of papers from James Piaget and Migotsky about this topic. Afterwards, in the same year, we have this more at all that they talk and they examine conceptual and, and distinctiveness in these processes. How is different to learn from behaviorism to cognitivism? Uh, what is the difference about the audio lingual method and the natural approach which came after that? <clears throat> then we have Loyens et al. at 2008 about the difference from a direct Le uh, learning and self-regulated learning, what was that difference and how affected by the problem by, by based methods. Winters at all that describe research on the role of self-regulated learning, direct learning in computer-based environment. And finally, Majoni and Parkinson in 2008, which they discussed about teachers' belief about metacognition, self-regulation, and self-regulated learning. And now I will talk to you a little bit about three main and um, main concepts which are metacognition, self-regulation and self-regulated learning. And I will start by talking about um, this metacognition concept which was introduced by Flowell, a very big psychologist, in 1985. He said that any knowledge or cognitive activity that takes place as its object or regulates any aspect and any cognitive enterprise, its core meaning is cognition about cognition. Uh, to make it easier, uh, metacognition can be seen when and uh, how is the use of particular strategies in order to learn and in order to know how to solve any problem. Um, it is said that uh, activities such as planning how to approach a given task or how to monitoring um, completion of that task in order to assess it or how to evaluate the progress is in nature of metacognition activity. 
Another one is to talk about self-regulation. Self-regulation, well, we can talk about Bandura in the year 1986, which is the process of influencing the external environment by engaging the functions of self-observation, self-judgment, and self-reaction. And he said that the external and internal factors were as well important. And now finally, we will talk about the self-regulated learning, which is based on different uh, Zimmerman studies. One of them is how to acquire knowledge and skills. Uh, he made a lot of studies with, with his own students, and he realized that this is a very complex activity because students, um, it, it is very difficult to foster autonomy in students and responsibility. So one of the most uh, important difficulties uh, he had uh, during this process is that um, students which are self-regulated, which study hard, which um, are not uh, all the time waiting for somebody to tell them what to do, but they self-regulate the way they study and learn, um, they achieve much more uh, goals than other people who are not self-regulated learners, but also it, it has a lot of difficulties because the students, uh, of course, in younger ages, are not that kind of um, autonomy person. Now, um, it is based on how to make students responsible and to have control for their own acquisition, which is kind of very difficult, but uh, the ones who achieve them are to be said um, more successful than the others. There are uh, three processes involved in this self-regulated learning. The first one is about metacognition, the second one is about motivation, and the third one is about behavior. Metacognitive, we can say that, mm, I mean, a self-regulated learning can be considered a planner, he sets goals, he organizes, he self-monitors and self-evaluates, about Zimmerman in 1986. Also, uh, talking about motivational, which is a very important point right here, we can say the learners report high self-efficacy, self-attribution, and self-influencing task interest. Interest is a very big word here, because uh, as you know, when the student is, is interested, um, about any topic that student can go farther and go beyond the, the boundaries, which is pretty good. Uh, talking about behavior, we can say the learners select, structure and create environments that optimize learning. B.F. and Neil, 1989. Well, <coughs> these processes are able to realize how self-regulated learning um, appears in order to know how to control the way students learn. But um, we still have a lot of questions because how to foster this, how to um, make students be aware of the process of learning they they are taking, and and the the goals they want to achieve through this kind of process is difficult to know since the first part of any year to the end. So many people know that the psychological things and an aspect are very difficult to take into account when talking about education. People doubt about self-regulation as a perspective of different ways of learning uh, than, than, well, pushing the students to know and to do, uh, to know what to do or something which is easier for them. So here is the question. If uh, this self-regulated learning really affects the life of those uh, super students or not? And this is because uh, some people think that self-regulated learners are more um, stressed people and if they cannot achieve what they want they will fail and they will uh, not know how to face their failure so um, there is something we have to know about how the age of children affect also but um, we can also definitely say that through this kind of theory students have more control of their learning process and they will not depend so much more on the teacher or on the topics they will see because they will go farther and farther. So if it affects or not, it depends. We'll have to see that in our class list. But definitely, we would like them to know how they can have time for the amount of responsibility, uh, the way they spend um, during their homework. And uh, it would be pretty much better if, if they do it because we could have more analytical students and also a more, well, not intelligent, but more smart 
and they will be able to know how to talk with your problems and to take, make and also take better decisions in the life. Uh, now the implementation of uh, self-regulated learning depends on, on the schools you're in and also the education process that you have. Some people do not agree about the quick processes and work which are made on psychological terms, but it is definitely a very good way to know that because learning is a, a, a wide, long view and, and we can try different aspects to know how to be prepared for us. Thank you very much. This is all for today. Claudia and I, I want to thank you for watching and see you next time.